What's going on guys? I'm back to give a quick uh, little guide on the Webtop 3.0 that's on the ice cream sandwich. Um, I'm, a, I'm using a Motorola Droid Razor Max right now. I got the 6.16.210 um, ICS leak the other day and uh, I'm checking out the Motorola Webtop version 3.0 right now and I'm bringing it to you to give a uh, review so the first thing you'll notice when you plug in the phone to your dock is this little splash screen welcome to Webtop version 3.0 and I'm just gonna hit start um, what I'm you actually you know I'm not even plugged into a dock I guess the thing with ice cream sandwiches there's no need for the dock what you can do like I just have the HDMI plugged right into my phone and when I did that the box came up on the screen and I had an option to select web top so the dock is no longer needed and you can actually use this for the trackpad you see it says uh, left click right click and there's the mouse moving right there alright so let's hit start and check it out I guess down by the clock right here, these little four arrows, it's uh, you can switch between web top mode and phone mode. That's uh, this message right here, letting us know. Alright, and here is the home screen. I heard this is kind of more of a tablet-like experience. Um, I noticed Mozilla Firefox isn't here which I don't know why um, unless they just did away with that in the web top 3.0 but <clears throat> let's see okay this is we still have the app app drawer in the top top right one thing I heard is different is YouTube. Um, I heard the YouTube uses a, a special web top interface. Yeah, it gives the notice right here. Applications by default will run in web top mode. Okay. Yes, and there it is. YouTube looks completely different. It has a whole different um, interface on it. That looks pretty cool. You know, I don't see myself using the web top mode that much. I mean, if I have a computer, chances are I'll go on the computer. But if I wanted to put this on my large screen, I have a 47-inch um, HD TV. If I wanted to plug this in, it would be great. Um, however, you just need a Bluetooth keyboard. I happen to have one. It connects um, to my my phone flawlessly, and it has a built-in mouse, a uh, little trackpad on it, so I can actually sit back in my couch, and you know go on YouTube, check, write email, um, you know everything I can do on my computer I can pretty much do on the web top. Um, I mean, granted, you are limited on, you know, downloads and stuff like that, but for the most part, you know, chances are you're just going to be wanting to surf the web or just watch some videos or even play music. Um, so, let's, let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, I noticed for the text messaging, I don't know if we can change these icons or not. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, but like I was saying, um, I use on my phone when I just have, you know, I'm using my phone, um, the icons that are um, down all the way in the bottom. Like where you, you know you have your your phone, um, that right next to my phone for my text messaging. I use a different application. I guess it doesn't um, run by default on the web top mode. It uses the factory 
um, text mes message application, but you know, that's fine. I think those are some bookmarks right there. Um, yep, this opened up Google Chrome. Okay. Now, if I wanted to create a shortcut on my, you know, desktop, um, there we go. That's how you do that. You just long press it in your app bar, and I'll, let's see if we could do stackable icons and web top. I'm just going to long press Chrome, drag it over on top of the browser, and just like that we have stackable icons. And we'll, you know, we could name this um, Internet. There, just like that, we put some stackable icons. So if I wanted to put, um, if I wanted to group my email, um, you know, I, I have a separate pop account and I use Gmail. So what I can do, um, I'll take my Gmail and I'm going to put it right on top of my pop account. Now I have both my, my emails there and when I click on them, it gives me a choice. And I could also name this naturally email. So all in all, the functionality is similar to, you know, using the actual phone. It's just you're pretty much projecting this on on the big screen. Um, I don't see how it's more of a tablet-like experience. Um, some people had said that. I don't see it. I actually don't see much difference in the, the previous uh, WebTop 2.0. But with the WebTop 2.0, I liked how it had uh, Mozilla Firefox. But now I do like using Chrome. You know, Chrome will be nice to use on the big screen. Other than that, you know, I really don't see that much of a difference. So, it is what it is. And, uh, this is what, when you plug in the HDMI cable, this is on your phone screen. This is what comes up, um, to select the dock type. But, like I said, when you are using ice cream sandwich, you don't need, um, the... HD dock or the HD station to launch WebTop. I'm um, just plugged in just like that. No uh, special apps needed. Um, like on Gingerbread, there was an app called NebTop where that enabled you to connect to WebTop via just plugging in HDMI cable. You didn't need the dock or um, HD station. Um, it used to be if you didn't have the dock or HD station and you plugged in the HDMI cable, you would get the choices. From here down, you would have my gallery, my music, or mirror on display. Mirror on display is just, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys know what that is. You just click on that, and everything you see in your phone is on the screen. You, you know, your uh, your TV screen or whatever your HDMI cable is plugged into. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. And thanks for checking out my video, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.